I'm Don Nelson. Here are your news headlines. Three young sisters were killed after a suspected drunk driver slammed a pickup in the back of a car they were riding in. Matthew Parker Fairfield was arrested after the crash at a road construction site south of Bellevue. Deputies gave Park a field sobriety test and a breathalyzer. He faces charges of felony aggravated DUI and felony vehicular manslaughter. Three-year-old Draca Rochelle of Mountain Home was taken to St. Luke's in Boise, but she passed away. Her five and six-year-old sisters have not been publicly identified. They died at the scene. All three children were in car seats. Two adults were in the car's front seats and were seriously injured and are now in area hospitals. A cooler and wetter weekend is helping fire crews making headway on the wildfire near Bergdorf. The net fire has burned about three and a half square miles of timber in the Payette National Forest. The northern edge of the fire is moving closer to a burn scar left behind by the Bergdorf fire in 2000 and crews say it should help slow any spot fires from starting. Progress has been slow due to rough terrain, but successful. The fire is now up to 41% contained. Warden Wagon Road is still closed to non-residents, while Bergdorf and French Creek roads are closed to everyone. Forest managers hope to have Warren Wagon Road up within the next 24 hours. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Beautiful day outside, lots of sunshine, amazing cool morning this morning in the 50s, warming up into the 80s. Look at that blue sky, only 78 for a high temperature yesterday. How refreshing was that? Sun is still strong though, so the afternoon's still getting the benefits of warmth. We're in the 80s for highs today or so far, and you look up in the mountains, only 66 in McCall. That might be an older number they're having. An, actually, yeah, that's an older number they're having an issue with their thermometer right now, but 71 in Stanley, 75 in Haley. It's been in the 70s up in the McCall area. Comfortable indeed. Clear skies everywhere. Uh, this is just some, uh, well, it's actually chaff in the air from, uh, but like, likely from some um, uh, military uh, training exercises going on down here. It is clear everywhere across the northwest nice and dry well, it's not real dry the uh, the upper levels are dry but we've got some humidity in the air and so uh, it's not uh, excessively dry for, for high, high fire danger but it's very comfortable outside because of it now tomorrow we still have the benefits of that cool morning down there at 58 but the 91 tomorrow afternoon so we'll notice the temperature going up it will continue to rise for the hottest day on wednesday and then on thursday we're talking 90 degrees mostly sunny skies still generally clear now that you see these couple clouds kind of zinging on across here that's one computer chart others say it will be mostly sunny but here's the nice day friday 87 we dip down a little bit again and then it heats up a little bit over the weekend as we go back above 90 but still only about where it should should be. There's an update to your forecast. More updates coming your way right here later tonight.